Welcome to The Apartment Guys, where we dive deep into all things multifamily investing. Our mission is to educate, inspire, and empower real estate investors to reach their highest potential. Each week, host Tate Seamer interviews high-level guests from all over the industry who are sure to bring valuable, actionable ideas that will propel your career to the next level. Whether you're just starting out or a seasoned investor, you are in the right place. And now your host, The Apartment Guy, Tate Seamer. Welcome everybody back to another episode of The Apartment Guys podcast. (laughs) And I'm excited today because as all of you know by now, I'm pretty much a geek about mindset (laughs) and um, mindset techniques and chops and like whether you want to call them like Jedi mind trainings or uh, personal development resources and like all of that stuff to me is gold and it translates directly to your business, to my business. Like my mindset is what has determined the trajectory and uh, really like success level of our business. Like I'm hundred percent convinced of that. Uh, Obviously I have a team and, And it's a little more complex than just me. But as the leader of the team, I feel like I'm a walking case study in the importance of mindset and the importance of understanding the power of your thinking and how important it is to choose your thoughts and to really be a master of your like inner domain, you know, and talked about meditation, uh, mentioned it here and there on the podcast. That's something that's part of my own personal practice. I think that's a big part of this, but um, anyway, I'm giving I'm giving Mr. Uh, or Dr. Hank Seitz here a big long intro because I'm so excited to talk about this. And uh, Dr. Seitz is is joining us. He's a, he's a broker of uh, f- uh, 20 years, right? Yeah, uh-huh. Dr. Seitz. Yeah, yeah. And you have 420 agents, which is amazing. Yeah. Um, that must be, you must be a very attractive person in, in, <laughs> in the business world uh, to attract that many great people. Um, and he's also a self-described mental scientist, which I love and can't wait to hear more about. Uh, so basically, we're going to just kind of jump into some really, hopefully very valuable mindset um, perspectives, actionable items, tips, techniques, et cetera. And this is going to be awesome. But uh, before we do that, first of all, I want to just welcome you, Dr. Hank Seitz, to the Apartment Guys podcast. Well, thank you so much, Tate. And I just love the apartment uh, group investing that you're doing and just on how this show uh, helps uplift, inspire people and uh, really get the momentum going, if you will. So thank you so much. And yes, uh, for sure that everybody, you will uh, enjoy this session. You'll get something out of it, some real specific steps uh, for you. So I would recommend that you write down when you hear some things that really resonate with you to write it down. And yes, I'm a mental scientist. My PhD is in mental science. And uh, so I've been doing this for almost 30 years now and teaching people how thoughts become things. Mm -hmm. And um, what's interesting in in the last five years, all of science, and when I say all of science, all the different science disciplines and um, uh, neuroscientists, quantum physicists, uh, molecular biologists, all of the sciences have agreed that for us to have our dreams come true, for us to experience anything, that it takes just three steps. And that first step is, according to scientists now, so what I've been teaching in 30 years and Napoleon Hill, I think, has been teaching since, you know, 1930, if you will, mm-hmm. that uh, on, on this idea about how thoughts become things, that the first step is that uh, it is our all-powerful thoughts. So mm-hmm. we have very... Our thoughts literally can mold the energy that creates worlds into our own experience. Mm -hmm. And so those thoughts then, according to scientists, create energy. 
which I like to think of that as our emotion. So our emotion, when you can feel it, when you can feel having whatever it is, having that relationship, when you can feel having that business thriving, when you can feel your portfolio growing, when you feel it, <laughs> then, then the third step is that those thoughts that go to energy, that energy then turns into what the scientists say is matter. M-A-T-T-E-R. And this is why it's actually been proven now by science that thoughts do become things. But as we know, Tate, a lot of us have all experienced where we've asked for stuff Mm -hmm. And we didn't get our stuff. (laughs) (laughs) Where's my stuff? Where's my stuff? Exactly. And so, um, so let me help you with that, that if, um, let's say you wake up in the morning and I love Tate that you like, you know, one of your practices is to do meditation. And uh, one of the quotes, I uh, sometimes will use the Bible quotes, but the meek shall inherit the earth. And I never really understood that. Um, And so I went to four years of seminary school to understand some of these things. And what I realized was the meek. And I thought at the time, you know, when I was younger, the meek was some little wimp, whatever type of person, but actually, Actually, the meek are those that are quiet, that are mm-hmm. still, because God can't talk to you, if you will. Uh, you can't get divine and attract divine thoughts if you're chattering away. And so this idea about being quiet and being still mm-hmm. and meditation is a great way to do that and that and the way to think about that is if i'm quiet and i quiet my mind my thoughts that then i will be able to have the answers the solutions be given all of because our prayers are our everyday thought and so what are we praying about and most of us so catch this there's 60,000 thoughts that we have each day each one of us mm-hmm. 60,000 thoughts out of those thoughts 80% of those thoughts are what i call unwanted thoughts what most people mm-hmm. would say is negative thoughts right. well what is even kind of uh more overpowering than that is 95% of our thoughts are the same thoughts we had yesterday. Mm -hmm. And so what happens is, is if we have the same thoughts, we have the same life. So our thoughts today create our life tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And so this idea, if you'll think about instead of good or bad, it's wanted thoughts or unwanted thoughts. So if I'm thinking, and most people think that, for example, I don't want COVID, that that people think is a wanted thought, but you're thinking about COVID and then probably taking that to the extreme on the very small percentage that, you know, die or, or whatever. And so you're actually vibrating this energy in step two is you're vibrating about something you don't want. COVID. Mm -hmm. Or if you had a, if you don't have enough right now, so you don't have enough business and, 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 you know, people will say to me, no, Dr. Hank, I'm facing reality here that I don't have enough business. Mm -hmm. And I say to them, well, I don't face reality. Mm -hmm. I create it. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And we create it through these wanted thoughts. And so some people say, oh, well, that's really hard. And, you know, I do have 80% of them negative and 95% of the, And if you do that, you're just fighting for your own lack and limitation. So what we want to do is we want to simply ask. All, we, all of us, all we need to do is ask. So ask and you shall receive. So what am I asking for? I'd like to expand my imagination. So I would, every one of you, I would write that down. Because if you start asking that on a consistent basis, you will only get a more expanded imagination. Mm-hmm. And that I want answers and solutions. You know, Einstein said, you cannot solve a problem at the energy level of that problem. 
In other words, you can't focus on the unwanted of what you don't want instead. And so it's a great one that when I was younger and just a kid, and uh, my father was very abusive, emotionally, physically, whatever. And, and um, so I, I had heard this one uh, statement from the Bible and it said, turn the other cheek. And I was thinking, well, so I turn this cheek and my dad hits me here. <laughs> and I turn the other cheek and I allow my dad to hit me there. It isn't that at all. Yeah. What, what Christ was saying there is that when I focus, so I'm focused on something, the deal went south. I don't have enough uh, of whatever, business, money, uh, health, you know, joy, love, whatever, whatever that is. That, so you're pointed over in this direction of what I don't want. And you want to turn your other cheek. And the way you do that mm. is you say to yourself, and without any energy in it, this is what I don't want. And then you ask, what do I want? Mm -hmm. And then it will be, oh, I'd like to grow my business. So like if you will just merely start saying to yourself, I'd like to grow my business more, that will actually go into your subconscious mind, which is kind of another topic here. But that will start soaking in to the kingdom within mm -hmm. and you'll start having more business. We are so wrapped up in thinking about what we don't want. I don't have enough business. You cannot. So here's a great quote that I'm kind of famous for, if you will, is you cannot think about what you don't want and expect to get what you want. Yeah. <laughs> that makes, it just, it makes so much sense, but, and it seems so obvious when you say it, but yeah. you're right. And it, it's almost like, we're wired in, in a sense, you know, the, this 80% 80 negative thinking, worrying, uh, yeah. you know, extrapolating and, you know, creating things to worry about and get upset <laughs> about like all that nasty stuff. It's, it's kind of like we're wired for that. Like a coach of mine calls all that machinery, the drunk monkey, yeah. and, which I love uh, mm -hmm. and it, it helps distinguish it. But um, yeah. and I, I, just to highlight, and we'll go back and highlight, uh, sure. again towards the end, but I love this, this ask and ye shall receive like yeah. that is, I mean, again, very basic. We've all heard it. We've all, it's in lots of different religious texts and, right. and, uh, you know, however, sometimes, or a lot of time we forget to ask, yeah. like both of them. We can be up against it, like really banging our heads against the wall or, or have something that's like, a you know, for us, a capital raise that's challenging. And we have, you know, a couple million to, to raise. It's like, hey, how about just kind of putting it out there that, you know, uh, this is what I'm creating. This is what I want. And I love yeah. turning the other cheek away from what you don't want towards what you want. And if you've ever ridden a bike or a motorcycle in particular, or uh, a mountain bike or something at high speeds, your bike will follow your eyes. It'll follow, it'll follow the direction of where your eyes go because your where your eyes go, your head goes and where your head goes, the rest of your body goes. And so that focus of what you're choosing to focus on is everything it determines everything about where where you end up going right yeah right yep. you know, <laughs> uh, well well said yeah uh, another good way to look at this uh, is you know a lot of people say well uh, you know I, I tried this and it hasn't worked okay and so so uh, it, it, because these thoughts they say it can't be my thoughts you know there must mm -hmm. be something against me or you know some force that working against me whatever some black cloud over me none of that is true the only devil if you will that there is is that little chattering voice that you were referring to and where we end up digging the rabbit hole if you will and yeah. wherever your momentum is going it's going to get bigger and bigger whatever you focus your attention on grows and so my I'm thinking about lack of limitation, don't have enough, et cetera, that I'll just be able to attract more people without enough and more situations that don't give me enough. <laughs> And so we yeah. need to, to kind of change that around. So I'm going to help everybody to be able to think about these thoughts and, and to understand why our thoughts, we think, don't create things. And that is this. 
let's say we wake up in the morning like you did, you wake up and you do a meditation and then you're doing, in fact, I'll offer uh, to your audience a, uh, something that I used to sell and, and for about $1,000 that I now give is called the Joy Shop. And it actually helps improve your thinking process. And if you contact me, you can text me. My text is 214-753-7204. Again, 214-753-7204. You can text me and just say, hey, I want the Joy Shop. Or you can email me, drhank at drhank.biz. So back to the story is we wake up and we're really feeling good. We do a meditation. We do this joy shop and we're writing down the things we desire and what we appreciate. And we prepave our day. It's all part of the joy shop, all easy and fun. And so it's just glorious. And let's consider that just this beautiful yellow sunshine, golden color. And so imagine it a yellow paint. Okay, so we have this yellow paint here. And now during the day, we start brushing up against contrast. And to me, contrast is simply things we don't want. So somebody cuts me off when I drive. And so I start thinking about that. I go, oh, man, I'm you know real mad at that. And then I get a call and a deal goes south. And then I start thinking about that. And next thing I know, I'm on Facebook and I'm writing to everybody. Man, I can't believe that cut off. And, uh, you know, and so we just keep on doing this more and more, and mainly in our head. And this is all an inside job. Our world yep. out here is all because of what is inside and inside what our, our thoughts and then our feelings. Okay. And so let's call all of these unwanted thoughts red. So if I mix yellow paint with red paint, what do I get in my life? I get oranges and people say to me, but I didn't ask for oranges, Dr. Hank. Oh, yes, you did. You were thinking about what you wanted, but then you put a lot of energy into what you don't want. Yeah. If you'll just no longer pay attention to it and become the light and just think about the things that you want, desire about your bright future, that if you'll only think about that, it's only possible to have that bright future. And you will be the light where all of those other unwanted things are simply shadows. And when you shine a light on a shadow, boom, they disappear. And so I've had people that, you know, um, would, oh, try to, I don't know, tell on me, get me in trouble, whatever. And then I wouldn't put any energy. I just would say, okay, I don't want those people in my life. <laughs> and what do I want? And then and I, I bless those people. And I realized everything is a blessing. I bless those people that, that were that way or thought that way about me. And I bless them because they helped me understand on what I didn't want. And then because I turn my cheek and I ask what I want, I want kind people. I want loving people. I want people like Tate. <laughs> <laughs> and then you attract those people and you become a man and, and you start attracting people, circumstances, thoughts that will make your, your life truly divine. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Um, I have a few ideas and as far as answers to this question, but what, what tricks, tools, techniques do you have? Uh, for people to get clear about what they want. Yeah, yeah, that's a great one. And so again, I had mentioned the joy shop. And so one of the techniques to start getting clarity and clarity is a godly divine word, if you will, that uh, when you are clear minded, it means you're thinking as your higher power is thinking. And so all of us have a higher power, no matter what you want to call it, uh, uh, whatever. And, uh, and you'll know that. In fact, I was uh, just sharing last night about uh, one of my 15 books that I've written is called the, the happiest man in the world. <laughs> and uh, and my publisher came to me and said, you know what, we need to write a book about you. And I said, oh, cool. Well, one of those stories is, is about how my dad being so young, I, I, you know, when I was young and, you know, how tough he was, blah, blah, blah. And I was actually at a point where I had a knife and I'm in like seventh grade. I had a knife at my heart and I wanted to kill myself. Wow. So um, I've been through it, but I now look at all those blessings. Like when I had that knife at me, 
there was something within me saying, don't do this, that it's okay, that things will be better. You know, so I knew there was some greater power. And that's when I really understood that. Um, and it was through this contrast of what I didn't want. I didn't want my life at the time because of, uh, of the misery that, that mm. I was in. But mm. think of the other thing that it did is it helped me be the best dad to my three sons. Because it rec I recognize this is what I don't want. And I'm never going to treat any human being like this, especially my own children. Yeah. And so, so really everything has been a blessing. And when we look that you as a listener, that you're here right now, because you attracted this, you were asking to be, do, and have more. And these words are literally touching your mind and your soul on this and realizing that your past has been a blessing. And right now in this red hot moment that you have the opportunity to have this bright future to have everything you want to be, do, and have. And it's all done simply with under with your thought. And so back to your specific question mm -hmm. on start writing down on, and right now I would write this down and then do it because if you don't do inspired action, then it's not good. Now, 99% of everything we get is through our thought. The 1% is the inspired action. Okay. So in this case, it would be inspired. If you're inspired that, I'm going to start getting clear what I want. My counsel to you is start general. Don't say I want a million dollars. You're doing God's job, if you will. Mm -hmm. Our job is what we want and why we want it. The father does the work. So the how is not our business, but we have been taught, oh, you got to figure out the how. So my uh, uh, counseled for you is to start out on what you want is all of you want this. I want, and write this down. I want a long, happy, healthy, wealthy life. Mm -hmm. I want a long, happy, healthy, and wealthy life. Just start there. And maybe even tomorrow then, you'll come up with another thought or maybe today as you write that down, what else do I want? Wow. Um, you know, I'd like to build my business. I'd like to build my portfolio. Keep it simple. It's kind of like we get to be the architect. We get to do like the form of the house, if you will, of the apartment building. We get to make the big apartment building and mm -hmm. God fills in all the details, all the rooms and the windows, you know, where all of it is. So you just ask, hey, I want this apartment building, if you will. And, uh, and then the how will be done in amazing and incredible ways if you allow it. Mm -hmm. And so this takes me to... There's really five steps to creation. Scientists said there's three, and they forgot, though, this higher power. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, step one is, yep, your thoughts. So, it, it just like the scientists. Step two, your thoughts automatically create energy, your emotions. So, and it's like a signal now, okay? These emotions, think of it as a signal. And so, just like the scientists and everything, but step three is your signal. And the only thing you need to do so far is just be thinking about what you desire, what you want, the, your bright future, the wanted, that, and that creates emotions. And then step three is those emotions are like a signal and they go out to your higher power, God Almighty. And those prayers because every thought that we have is a prayer. We don't have to have our hands folded on our knees to be a prayer. Every thought is our prayer. And that our prayer is received instantly and answered instantly. But most people say to me, but Dr. Hank, where's the money in the bank? <laughs> I don't see that money. Where's the person in the bedroom? Where's the car in the garage? You know, whatever. And that the actual 
where it is. It's in this energy form. Everything is energy. We are energy and our thoughts are energy and our thoughts can literally mold the energy that creates worlds into our life experience and anything that we want. All things are possible. And so that's where we come. So the only steps we need to do is two. Step one, our thoughts, but step four is what I call Abe. And it's allow it, believe it, and expect it. Allow, believe, and expect. Mm -hmm. And so when you just expect this, that, hey, I expect to have a long, happy, healthy, wealthy life. I expect to grow my business. This is really all you need to do. This is your asking. And it doesn't, the asking doesn't necessarily have to have a question mark after it. It's whatever you're thinking that you're going to automatically get more of it. So the more that we can think about our bright future, our happiness, our joy, our love, our wealth, our abundance, that the more it will come. And so, um, so that step four is critical. So we just need to think about what we want and then we need to allow it, believe it and expect it to come in. And then step five is we receive it and we experience it. It becomes in our experience. So the cool thing is we only need two things to do. Just think about eggs. what we want. Yeah. yeah. And then allow it. In. Yeah. Cause the thinking is a form of asking, right? If I hear you correctly, right. like just thinking about the, like you said, the, the portfolio expansion or the vacation home or the ideal yeah. partnership mm -hmm. or uh, your ideal uh, body or, or whatever that is, right. is, is in fact a, a form of asking, yeah. which is really all there is to do in that particular step. Right? right. And then the only other thing there is to do on your end is yeah. Abe, allow, believe and expect. Exactly. That makes so, you know, in, sense. Yeah. You know, and in church, people say, oh, believe in God, have faith in God. This is the belief in the faith. In mm -hmm. that when you do the asking, the Father does the work, and then yeah. you have to do the receiving. Yeah. And most of us are, oh, it's too good to be true, or this is too easy, or, you know, and the reason why that all is, is because we've been told, like one of the things we've been told is you got to work hard. Mm -hmm. You don't have to work hard at all. Mm -hmm. You know, but see what happened is we turned that into a belief is we saw our parents or whoever, they worked hard, they made it, if you will. So thus, I believe, oh, I have to work hard in order to do that. I only play. I don't even use the word work. Okay. I'm independently well. Like how, how does that happen? Mm -hmm. Well, because of what I'm teaching you. That yeah. if you will just live this and, and think this and expect this, that it will come. But it's done onto you as you believe. And that's why step four is so important. And why I wrote the book, Your Royal Path to Riches and How to Tap into the Kingdom Within. That's how to tap into the subconscious mind. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so that takes us into a whole different area, but all part of the same subject. Would you like to hear more about that or? Sure, of course. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, absolutely. Right. So um, uh, the Bible says, and again, one of my reference points is the Bible or Napoleon Hill or, you know, all kinds of things. Now I just get it direct. I just literally, I channel it. I just mm. ask and I, I get the answers and solutions for myself as well as for, uh, for other people. So I don't, Very need, cool. I, I don't go, you know, read books or, you know, gee, I need this information. I just go to the source. <laughs> I, I get love all, it. I all love the it. answers, you know, I, on that. But so Bible says, uh, in Matthew that it says when two of you are in agreement that it shall be manifested on earth and so most of us you know I thought when I was younger that I thought it was two people and you know I got to agree with it uh, and I got to agree in order to have it done. no no it's not two people it's us it's our conscious mind which is the controller, the, the, the ruler of your ship, the, the, the uh, captain of, of your, your soul is your conscious mind. So think, though, that your conscious mind, everything that you have felt, thought, and experienced since conception is remembered by your subconscious mind. And your subconscious mind has an opinion about every subject under the sun. 
And it's all because of what you have, again, experienced, thought, Mm -hmm. um, uh, felt, okay, that important feeling. And uh, those opinions are what we call beliefs. So think about, and I love using this subject, it's so easy and so obvious, money. Think on how we have been brought up with the root, uh, the love of money is the root of all evil. Right. In Christ's time, sheep were one of the ways to represent wealth and money, okay? Certainly a sheep is not the root of all evil. And it was a misunderstanding. The Bible, what it was saying in that whole paragraph is, remember, everything comes from God, your higher power, whatever, however you want to mm-hmm. describe that, okay? And most of us were born up, Judeo Christian, whatever that is. That, so, you know, we use the word God, but some people want to use universe, higher power, whatever. And, and again, don't get caught up in any of that. Just know, hey, you know, that, that, that I'm it, I co-create with this higher power, whatever we want want to call it. Mm -hmm. And so I have these beliefs, so these thoughts have, and I have all these beliefs that are pretty much buried. And so I'm a behavioral psychologist also. And most of my peers will sit you on a couch and they'll spend literally years, if you're willing to pay the money every week to talk to you and dig up, we're going to dig up this problem. Well, whatever you focus on grows. So they're just digging up the problem and making it bigger. I have a way to overcome all of that. We don't have to look at what our old beliefs are. We can create new beliefs. Now, some people will say, oh, well, let's use affirmations like I am wealthy. Well, here's what happens. The conscious mind says I am wealthy. And the subconscious mind, after all of these beliefs of, you know, the the root of all evil, the filthy rich, money doesn't grow on trees, which, you know, again, I'm using the the subject money here. But, you know, I I lived in Florida. There was billions of dollars of orange trees and grapefruit trees. So, yeah, money does. But we have orange trees. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it does grow on trees. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in Florida yeah. anyway. Yeah. Right, right. <clears throat> and and uh, and oxygen we get from all the trees and everything. Yeah. So, you know, I mean that that's like invaluable. We all need that. You know, what's the number one thing we need right now in this moment is air. And and guess what? There's plenty of it, just like there's plenty of money. Like, you know, I, I've never Tate, have you ever said to anybody, would you quit breathing all that air and leave some for me? <laughs> no. No, I haven't. No, 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 none of us have. Well, money is the same way, but we have this idea, you got to work hard for money. And, you know, so blah, blah, blah. We have all these things. So back to, so I say, I am wealthy. And the subconscious mind, because our conscious mind has told it so many times, we don't have enough money and, you know, blah, blah, blah. That So its belief is that you are not wealthy. So when you say, I am wealthy, the subconscious mind goes, bullshit. (laughs) <laughs> and so there is not agreement there and you can say i'm wealthy forever and you'll never become wealthy mm-hmm. so the key is to have some magical statements and in fact i'm going to give all of you a magical uh, statement that i actually use in my coaching that'll give you if you want more income i would write this down and that this has worked for literally thousands of people and will, will uh, benefit you and increase your income. So there's three parts to this magical statement. And I would write this down. And it is, I easily accept, A-C-C-E-P-T, I easily accept new prosperity thoughts So that's the first part. I easily accept new prosperity thoughts and I am prepared to increase my income. So, and I am prepared to increase my income in the third part now. So I easily accept new prosperity thoughts and I am prepared to increase my income now. Now let's dissect that a little. When you say, 
I to your subconscious mind, I easily accept new prosperity thoughts. No problem. I don't have any beliefs against new prosperity thoughts. Okay. So I go, hey, you know, I'm open to it. I'm going to allow it. I'm going to believe it. I'm going to expect it. Step four, right? And then, and I am prepared to increase my income now. Well, yeah, I am prepared to increase my income now. That uh, My income, uh, that's the second part, okay, my, uh, I'm prepared to increase my income. Again, the subconscious mind will gleefully, or the kingdom within will accept that and will overcome any of the other beliefs because this is the most recent, this is what's on your conscious mind, this is what you're getting to it, it is accepting it. And then the last word there, last part of the sentence, is now. You can't say, I'm going to be wealthy, because that's kind of like saying, well, tomorrow. Well, tomorrow never comes. You know, when I'm in tomorrow, it's today. Okay, so you can't be, well, I'm going to do that. No, I feel this now. I feel that my business is growing. I feel that my portfolio is growing. I feel that I will find that And I will ask for a way to find the perfect investment, to find the perfect opportunities for the money to come in for that investment, and that I am open to that. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, as you start just emerging yourself with these beautiful, what I call good feeling thoughts, Mm -hmm. that then it's only possible to not only feel good, but to start realizing your dreams. Wow. Guys, are you as blown away as I am right now by this stuff? This is like mind blowing, expansive, high, high level. Um, like, you know, again, like Jedi mind training or, you know, Jedi training for human beings. And, and, you know, this is like technology right here. If, if you look at it that way yeah. and, if you've taken good notes and I, you know, as I have uh, f- uh, many post-its in front of me here, full of notes <laughs> from this, um, you're, there's a lot, there's a lot here. Um, but that said, it's really pretty basic stuff and easy. It, yeah, it's, it's, it's relative. Yeah. It's easy. It's not necessarily, you, you know, you're, you're carving new neural pathways when you do this stuff, like literally your, you know, thoughts that, that fire together, wire together. Right. And yeah. so, you know, Joe Dispenza is my guy and love him. And, um, yeah. and he talks about this a lot and, and, you know, this is like literally technology for creating whatever it is that you're out to create. And, that is huge. And if you're listening to this show, what you're out to create is a real estate portfolio, uh, uh, you know, a, pa- a passive income and wealth creation. Yeah. And whether you're investing passively or whether you're an active investor, uh, your chances are we're all here for about the same reasons. And, you know, just consider that what Dr. Hank said early in this episode is true. Like th- it's not a mistake that you're listening to this right now, right. wherever you are on the treadmill, in the car, uh, on a walk, you know, laying in bed, like in, in the office, like right now you are in the right place at the right time, just by evidence of the fact that you're hearing this stuff because so few people on this planet ever get to hear this sort this sort of, uh, really enlightening, technology and but and and when i say enlightening i literally mean like this this stuff lightens your load yeah. like it really does, it does. and and it, and it you know it 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 makes you it, it makes you more nimble makes you more uh you know athletic for lack of a better word like you know yeah. on, on a business level on a personal level and uh and it gives you a, you know it's very very empowering very yeah. empowering. And yeah. the other thing for me, like mm-hmm. th- this is, I, I really started getting my head around a lot of this sort of stuff in right around 2007. Right. And that was the very beginning of me, like never being a victim again in my life. Exactly. Because you can't, you can't like, if you really get this stuff at, at the base level, like, you know, 
for better, for worse, you know, if thoughts create energy, which create matter, which therefore thoughts create things, the things that are in your life are a product of your thoughts and for better, for worse, like, you know, and, and you got to be real and responsible about that. And that's part of taking, you know, like a high emotional intelligence level uh, to your life and, and bringing, um, bringing an enlightened perspective that guess what? You're responsible for responsible for all of it. And you, if you ever find yourself being in a victim state again, just all you got to do is remind yourself of that and, you know, don't make yourself bad or wrong for it. I victim out once in a while, like <laughs> more than once in a while. I, I find myself at the victim of, you know, a telemarketer or, or, you know, like somebody cutting me off or, you know, yeah. just or, or big things like somebody not keeping their word on a deal or something like that. And, and it's, it really comes down to the story that you tell yourself about what just happened. It's not yeah. what just happened. It's not that, that our preferred equity source is uh, reneging on their, on their uh, word. It's why, why, and how is this serving me? How is this helping? Right. How is this helpful? Tony yeah. Robbins says life doesn't happen to me, it happens for me. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, again, if that's, if that's your perspective and that's a choice, right? Like what you choose to think about whatever just happened is a hundred percent your choice. Yeah. It, most of us go to default mode and just go into reactivity, quite frankly. Um, I, I'm as guilty of that as anyone, but this gives you tools and options right here yeah. to create an and impact. Wow. You bet. And, yeah. and another thing to um, a helpful um, thought, if you will, on this is um, don't think about things you can't control. Mm -hmm. So uh, otherwise, you'll just frustrate yourself. And so if you want to control whatever government or um, COVID or whatever, you, you just can't. Okay. And mm -hmm. don't try to figure out certain things. You know, why did the 9 11 have, you know, whatever? Right. It, it's just way too, um, that, that's not what you're here for. Mm -hmm. You're here to create your experience. You're here, actually, our souls are here for three purposes. The first one is growth, and it's going to, it puts the eternity into everything. And it's going to happen whether you're having a good time or not. Because you're going to experience contrast and you're either going to flow where God flows with it and sees what you do want, or you're going to ramble into all of that minutiae, if you will. But because of that expansion, you had growth, whether or not you were enjoying it or not. So number one yeah. is growth. The second reason why we're here is to experience more freedom. Mm. And so to think that money equals freedom. So we're actually here to be able to create that wealth. It's a good thing. It's a beautiful thing. And there's all kinds of other freedoms too, and mm -hmm. social justice, you know, whatever yeah. that is. But again, yeah. stay in your own world and the things that you control, the things that you think. And you can't, you know, think for other people, you can't feel for other people. You can only think and feel for yourself. That's another thing that gets in our way is, oh, I don't want to be selfish. Well, you're the only person that can think and feel for you and you can't do it for anybody else. And when you think and feel for yourself, that you will raise your vibration, that will raise the vibration of everybody. So in other words, when you thrive, everybody else around you mm -hmm. will thrive. Yeah. And so, so it is a, a, a selfish teaching, if you will. It's the only way to do that. We are the creators of our own experience. And as we recognize that, and as we lighten up, so we take things way too serious. Okay. Like when someone mm -hmm. quote unquote dies, we're all sad and everything. Our souls never intended for us to be here forever. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that there was, there's this, you know, beautiful plan, if you will, on that, hey, we wanted to come down here and experience all this contrast and grow and to be able to have that growth, to be able to have that freedom and expand all that is. It puts the eternity into everything. But here's the prize the prize, my friends, our joy.
Mm. It's to have the joy. And so this to feel good. Mm -hmm. And we each have the power in this red hot moment to be able to feel good. And when we feel good, that that's really all we need because it lines us up with our higher power and we become one with our higher power. And then we're skipping along on our magical path, skipping along that golden, bright, yellow brick road, if you will. And that's how we were intended to have life. And so each one of us have the power right now to feel good. And because when you think about it, everything that you want, it's really only for you to feel better. (laughs) <laughs> and so you have that power right now you don't need the money you don't need the bit you don't need any of that you just need to feel good right now and then all that other stuff will come to you mm-hmm. <laughs> well easy said. peasy easy, easy peasy. money easy life easy <laughs> money easy life easy money easy life it's a good thing to hum yourself <laughs> yeah, and, and you're creating that vibration like when you when you do those things when you say those mantras when you repeat those things when you sing in the shower or sing yeah. while you're driving or dance or yeah. like uh you jump around like the it, those are all like game changers and vibration shifters and and yeah. really will like shift you and shift yeah. your energy and you know, one of the things that, I, that came to mind when you were talking about, um, you know, really bring it like in my words, like being at your highest and best, mm-hmm. um, that's really the best gift that you can give the universe or God or other people in your life. Like you being the happiest, uh, most content, mm-hmm. most peaceful, like most healed, integrated version of you that you can be and the most successful version of you that you, you can be is really like the, the very best gift that you can give anyone. And like you said, Dr. Hank, you you know, it's, you you shift your vibration, you raise your vibration and, and, and you transform yourself and you're going to bring everybody else with you and everybody else going to thrive along. I think you use the word thrive. I love that. Um, And everybody else is going to thrive with you. Yes, yes. So exciting. And then one last little uh, little fun thing is to, uh, you know, we were talking about asking. And so say things like, um, and it's a great one to write down, why am I so happy? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, and literally that you're calling. And so I have a, um, a group called Angel Connections, and it's the one of Facebook group, Angel Connections. And it's when my angels, this loving energy communicates with me, I will communicate that and maybe a sentence, maybe um, a, a whole, uh, you know, uh, five pages of of a theme, you know, that depending on what my angels are saying, but it's a great one, Angel Connections, and I would uh, recommend for everybody, it will uplift you and it'll give you those, you know, beautiful thoughts. But when you say, why am I so happy? It literally alerts all of your loving angels who are here to support, love, and guide you. And so Mm. another way to look at this is this, there's this loving energy, there's all kinds of energy watch it and i watch it and if you call forth this loving energy like why am i so happy mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> that literally you call all of your angels and they're gonna go gather up all the goodies to make you even happier mm. yeah. <laughs> so why am i getting wealthier all the time <laughs> okay yeah. they're out there finding the apartments they're finding the money you know getting a whatever that is and and coming in ways and normally the path to get there because we've tried to figure out the path you know and how to get there if you'll just let that go that you'll see that the path is easy and it's way different than what you thought it was going to be sure. <laughs> it, it, it is quite different it, it, and, it, and it's it's i guess easier is a word but it's it's so much more than, than easier. It's, it, it, you know, it's sure. just, it's joyful and, and blissful yeah. and delightful. And so um, all those things. Well, um, Dr. Hank, so for people to reach you, I know that you're, you're very generous with your wisdom and your time. Um, and you'll, 
you'll talk to just about anybody about it, just about anything. Talk so. to anybody about anything. And, you know, I've helped investors grow their portfolio, that I've helped people overcome cancer, that mm, wow. um, help people uh, to, you know, find their soulmate. And so, uh, you know, if I can help you in anything, if you have something where, you know, you just feel you're stuck, you're not getting to where you want to be, that uh, you can reach me by phone and text call me. My number's 214 214- seven five three seventy two oh four and let's talk about it that um my email is real easy it's dr hank everything's easy that dr hank at dr hank dot biz b-i-z and uh again facebook angel connections and go up there and there's mm-hmm. ways to uh set appointments with me even on angel connections uh there if you go into the um uh, top video that it'll it'll uh, get the instructions on that and so it's just you know we're all here to be able to grow together help each other we're actually here that even the people that you don't like or whatever they're all blessings because it again helps mm-hmm. us to understand what we don't want so we can have what we uh, do want but we're all here to help each other so if mm-hmm. uh, i can help you if kate can help you that um you know we're here for you and you just have to do the asking And so you Mm -hmm. need to do that inspired step and reach out and say, hey, my time is now and I want to be doing half more and I want my dreams to come true and I'll help you do that. Wow. Wow, guys, this is amazing. This has been just like I my intention is to bring high level guests on every week and get as much value as we can to our, our listeners and, and help people really move things along. This has just been profound. And uh, I can't wait to, to hear how this is going to impact our listeners. Cause it it's huge yeah. listeners. If you're, if you've listened to the end of this episode, like the good news is you are going to crush it because you've just absorbed the better part of an hour's worth of, profound wisdom that is transformative and i would listen to it again and again and again and take some notes every time um you know it, again if you if, if you've made it this far and you tuned into this to begin with it's a great sign but to to be to be this far into the conversation you're there's no way you can lose in my humble opinion so dr hank thank you so very much Hey, thank you. And thanks to all of you out there and bless you and know that everything is coming your way. And that bright future is here with you now. Love it. Can't (laughs) say it any better than that. So on that listeners, we'll see you next week with another powerful episode of the apartment guys. Thank you, Dr. Hank. This has been great. Appreciate you. All the best. All the best. Take care, everybody. Thanks for listening to The Apartment Guys with Tate Seymour. Tate and friends are grateful to have you as a loyal listener. If you like what you've heard, please subscribe, rate, review, and share with friends on your Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Spotify, or any other podcast platform. Also, check out Tate's YouTube channel for videos of many of these episodes and more. Until next time, take massive action steps and rock on.